Eastern Illinois head coach Adam Cushing, the uh, Panthers coming off a uh, seven-point loss against uh, Dayton this past week. They're going to be home, uh, home up for Illinois State, the Mid-American Classic on uh, Saturday night. So, Coach, just some thoughts on your team, and then we'll go to some questions. Yeah, um, well, I think I'm more tired of saying it than, than Panther fans are of hearing it, but, uh, you know, didn't get the job done. Um, bottom line is, is you know, they, they out-teamed us. Dayton's a really, really good football team that did the things that winners do, and, and we didn't. We didn't take care of the football, um, and, uh, and we didn't take it away. And when you do those things, you play a good football team that's well-coached and really disciplined. Um, it's very difficult to, to win, and that's what we just keep preaching is um, that, that it's just incredibly difficult to win a Division I football game. And it takes all 114 guys on the roster. It takes everybody doing their best at all times. And unfortunately, that's not what we've done so far. That's 100% on me. We've got to be a lot better. We've got to, do, we've got to take this thing and take great care of it. Um, and we've got to take it away. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's the emphasis this week. We just walked off the practice field and uh, quite honestly, probably had our best, most spirited, passionate Tuesday of the whole season so far. So give the players a lot of credit for, for bouncing from back from a heartbreaker, a true heartbreaker, and um, just going back to work. And that's, you know, we, we said it all the time. It's what I said to the guys Sunday after the game is they learn nothing else from being in this program. The event does not define you. Your response defines you. And so I was really proud of the response this morning and get an opportunity to keep on practicing this week. Perfect. Thanks, Coach. Uh, Dan, if you want to start with your questions, uh, go ahead, and then I'll ask some after that. Sure. Thanks, Kyle. Well, you finally get to play an opponent that you've got some current film on. So just what what does that mean as far as your game preparation goes? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've joked about it quite a bit around the office. Like, hey, we actually these are actually the same human beings we're going to coach against the same human beings we're going <laughs> to we're actually going to going to play on the field against. Um, you know, it, it makes it makes a difference. Right. It's there's a little bit um, of more understanding that this is this is real, right? We can feel a lot more confident coaching it, I think. Um, and it allows the players, I think, to feel more confident saying, okay, these are the guys we're going against. We can truly talk personnel within the scheme and, um, you know, just really excited to play at home here this, this weekend too. And I know you always like to make it, you know, about your team rather than the opponent. And you've talked, you know, about being better as coaches. So, what sort of adjustments are you, you know, hoping to put into place? You know, I, I, I know you're not going to give specifics, but just in general. Yeah, well, we, we, we're talking about three things this week. First of all is, is just playing as hard as we can for as long as we can, right? That's one of our mottos around here. But, um, but doing that every second, um, because we, the, the dip, the only dip that we saw on that on Saturday is when, when they rattled off, you know, 14 quick points on us and, um, and, and it was the turning point in the game. But there, when you have that dip, it's got to, that's why it's as hard as you can for as long as you can. Um, and then it's this thing right here. I mean, you can see I'm literally carrying it around. I had this in my hand just like this all day at practice. When the players came off the field, every single one of them had to pick up a football and stand there. If they weren't in, they had a football in their hand. That's what we're, we're making the adjustments on is uh, making sure that we go as hard as we can and we take care of this thing and we, we just keep on playing for each other. There was way more... Um, excitement for each other out there on the field today. And th those are the three things that we're going to just stress. And, uh, you know, forever and ever and ever, it's what it always is. And I said to him this morning that we're not going to go reinvent the wheel. We're not going to try and do something totally different. We're just going to do what we do. We're going to do it the way that we need to do it to win, because we this is what we've been talking about forever. We just haven't been executing it. And today was our best Tuesday doing it. I got one more and then I'll get out of the way for Kyle, but uh, you know, if you had, had a lot of injuries, any updates on any of those? I uh, don't have any updates for you right now. I wish I did. Um, guys are battling their, their butts off to get back. And I know, you know, obviously we, we need them back on the field, but it's an opportunity for the next guy to step up. So unfortunately, no updates right now. Kind of a quick follow up on that. Do both quarterbacks that have played so far, are they healthy right now? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I mean, they're, it, you play quarterback, you're, you know, uh, you play any position, but especially quarterback, feel, be ready to feel good in the end of December, you know, um, you play this game. So, uh, but yeah, they're good to go. Thank you. So I want to talk a little bit about Illinois State and just the rivalry because 2019 was your first year. So you got to play them last year. You didn't, but just, I guess in general, first, you know, the closest, the, the, the two teams you all have played so many times, just being a part of that since you're new to uh, the series. Yeah, um, I'm new to it, but but certainly, you know, the guys are around here know about it. Obviously, 
one of my favorite things about college football is playing for those trophies, right? Having those traditions, longest standing um, tradition in the state of Illinois, been playing since 1901. We went through the history of it this morning, right? We're talking to the guys about it and, um, and that, that's, that's fun, right? I mean, you go back to your, to your high school football playing days when you got those intense rivalries with the guys down the street, it's the same deal. These are the guys down the street and, um, and they've done an unbelievable job. I got to give them a ton of credit. They've done an unbelievable job recently. And, um, but it's really, really fun to kind of have that, that game that you say, man, this is the, we get to play this one every year, no matter what we're playing this one, there's a trophy on the line and, and we get an opportunity to go compete with a, with a great tradition of college football. And so specifically on them this year, they're similar to you. They played an FBS team. They played a Pioneer League team. Uh, and then last, you know, last spring, they only played four games, a few less than what we did. Um, what can you take out of them? They've traditionally been very good. And, and what do you expect from them this year? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, I think their spring was a little bit of an anomaly. I've talked to Coach Spack about it. I know everything, you know, that they kind of at least what he shared, everything that they've gone through over there. And you know, they had a bunch of injuries and he, you know, he did the right thing for the best interest of his young men. And, um, and so, you know, we're just kind of throwing that out. I mean, obviously you use a little bit of that video, but with video this year, that, that that's just not who they've been, right. They've been a really, really consistent football team. They're extremely well coached, right. You, you're going to look at them and see the same scheme that they're running right now is what they ran in 2019 against us. And they just do it really well. Right. They know what they know where where their schemes are strong and where they're weak and they play right to both of those things. Right. They know how to take up for those weaknesses, et cetera. Um, and so it's it's really a, a, just a quality opponent to, with. I mean, Coach Spack just does a phenomenal job. You look at every aspect. The first thing I always turn on is special teams. Um, and you look at those guys and they play hard and they play really, really disciplined. And that is the, the character of your football team on special teams. Right. And when that's when your character, your football team's playing really hard and they're really disciplined, that's what the whole team's going to be. Well, that's perfect segue. Talk about your special teams. Uh, Logan Neidhart was named the uh, specialist of the week. I know you had one field goal attempt last week. You made that. So what do you think about where your team is through on special teams three games in? Yeah, uh, very different. I mean, it's one of the things I've been saying for a while. This is a very different special teams team than even the spring. Right. Obviously, Logan has made a big difference. Logan can really, really get a hold of the ball. Um, and, and what's fun about him is he can kind of punt it the way he wants. You know, we had a bunch of wind out there on Saturday and and he kicked through it. You know, he kicked through it with a little different style than putting it up in the air and letting it get pushed back at him and that kind of thing. And um, and he I mean, he's just a really, really talented leg. And I think um, you see a lot of those guys with super talented legs. But I, the reason that he's successful is he is just a calm demeanor all the time. He's one of the guys in the locker room. He's one of the strongest guys in the weight room. I mean, he, guys love being around him when he's squatting because he's, he's just a strong guy. Obviously, I think the, that Logan's addition to the football team has made Stone Galloway a much better place kicker for us. We have a lot of confidence in Stone because he's not swinging his leg a bunch of different ways. Now he gets to really focus on the one thing. He gets to hone in on it, right, and just embrace that process. It's really made him better for us. And then obviously, you know, in the first game, we, we had a few, uh, we had a few miscues with, with our kickoff guy, but, um, but he has really stepped up lately as well. Daniel Luomo kicking the ball off and putting it through the end zone or putting it really, really deep. And our kickoff team covered it great the other day, the one that he didn't put all the way through the back line. So um, it's a totally different football team. And I think that part of it has made our guys play even that much harder. We take a lot of pride in it for special teams. The first thing we do every single morning not only in meetings, but at practice as well. And our guys take a lot of pride in it. And, and you know, uh, my, my great hope always is that the coach back will turn on the video and say the exact same thing about us, that we play hard and with a, with a bunch of discipline. Dan, you have any other follow-ups? Nope, no other follow-ups. I'll, I'll see you Saturday night. Awesome. Awesome. See you there. Well, coach, right. thanks for your time and good luck. And we'll talk to you again next week. Appreciate it, Kyle. Go Panthers.